Hey everyone, it's Sarah at Repeat Crafter Me, and I am going to show you how to make mini holiday hats. Aren't these adorable? They're tiny little um, hats, uh, Santa hat, elf hat, I made a gingerbread hat, candy cane hat, snowman hat. Uh, they're small, they're about three and a half by three and a half inches. Um, really easy to crochet, simple little project that you can get done just um, with within the hour and I can't wait to show you uh, how to make these. So um, lots of different uses for them too. I will talk about that later. So I'm using Red Heart Super Saver yarn. I got my size H crochet hook, grab a tapestry needle, um, any other color yarn you need. I'm using um, just some fun little embellishments like little mini pom-poms. Uh, you can get at Michael's Craft Store uh, if you want to make little faces. Um, let me just show you how to make the Santa version. Uh, it's all the same pattern, so any of the combinations of colors that you desire, you can use. Um, all right, let's find our end here. So I'm going to do the Santa one. I'm going to start with red, and we're going to go ahead and make a magic ring which is basically just a loose slip knot okay and then i'm going to make four single crochets in the ring so i'm going to chain one and i'm going to make four single crochets okay pull tight we're going to join to that first single crochet And we're going to chain one. We're going to make two single crochets in the first stitch. One single crochet in the next. Get some more yarn here. Two single crochets in the next stitch. And one single crochet in the last. Okay, let's join to our first single crochet chain one. Now we are going to go ahead and for the next four rounds, we're just going to single crochet in each stitch. So just single crochet in each stitch around. Okay. I like to join um, so I know what round I'm on. But you could absolutely do this project and not have a join. You could just crochet in continuous rounds, maybe use a stitch marker. Okay, that was two. Kind of, I like to hold my finger right there in the beginning of it. Uh, it's so small, it's kind of hard to hold. round with just single crochets each stitch okay now for our seventh round we're gonna make two single crochets in the first stitch then we're gonna make a single crochet in the next two okay repeat that two single crochets all in one stitch and then single crochet in the next two, which happens to be my last two stitches in that round. Join, chain one, and then we're gonna make um, just a single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, you should have eight single crochets. Join to that first single crochet, chain one. We're gonna make two single crochets in the first stitch, single crochet in the next three. Two single crochets in that next stitch, 
single crochet in the last three. Okay. Join. Chain one. And now single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, join, chain one, two single crochets in the first, single crochet in the next four. Repeat that again, so two single crochets all in one stitch, single crochet in the next four. Okay, let's join. And now we're gonna continue with our increases. You're gonna get the hang of this. Um, two single crochets in the first stitch, single crochet in the next five, two single crochets all in that next stitch, single crochet in the last five. Okay, but you can guess the increases for the next round, two single crochets in the first, single crochet in the next six. Okay, two single crochets all in that next stitch, single crochet in the next six. Okay, join, chain one, two single crochets in the first, single crochet in the next seven. Two single crochets in the next, single crochet in the next seven. All right, join, chain one, two single crochets in the first, single crochet in the next eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Two single crochets in the next, single crochet in the last eight. Yep, there we wait. Lost count for a minute. Chain one, two single crochets in the first, single crochet in the next nine. Two single crochets all in the next, single crochet in the last nine. Eight and nine. Join, and now this is gonna be your last round of increases. It's two single crochets in the first, single crochet in the next 10. Okay, two single crochets in the next, single crochet in the last 10. Yeah. Okay, do not fasten off this yarn yet. We're gonna do one more round in red or whatever your main uh, mini hat color is. So I'm just gonna single crochet in each stitch around. Easy peasy. Okay, almost to the end there. Right. 
Now, before I join, I'm gonna grab my white yarn because I'm making the little brim. Um, okay, if I can grab my yarn here, let's see. Come on. All right. Um, so I am just going to join in with my white yarn. Very simple now, chain one, single crochet in each stitch around. And you're gonna do this for the last three rounds. You're just gonna single crochet um, with white or whatever your, your brim color is. Uh, just single crochet around in that color. All right, here we are at the end. All right, this is what your hat should look like now. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and clip off the yarn. All right. Now. Okay, we're gonna weave in some ends, but before we do, I want to show you how to make the little pom-pom on the end and um, you'll just take, I mean, whatever color you want. I usually use the same color as the color of the brim, and um, you actually don't have to crochet it, but I think it looks cute crocheted. You could add on a bigger pom-pom or just a, a yarn-wrapped pom-pom, but to make this crocheted one, uh, we do our magic ring. We're gonna chain one. We're gonna make six single crochets in the ring. Pull tight, join to that first single crochet. Now single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, that was six single crochets. Join, okay. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky because it's so small. You're gonna single crochet decrease over the first two, single crochet in next. Single crochet decrease, single crochet in the last. All right, join. And then we're gonna clip off that yarn. Just kind of stuff this little end in there. Take that off. Let's see here. Yep. Actually, I'm just gonna do that. Have it a little closer. Okay. So you're gonna take your tapestry needle. Okay. We're just going to close up this little hole. Um, all I do is I just start wrapping my tapestry needle around kind of those loops just to close it up. Okay, now you have a little pom-pom. So you're gonna take, um, you're gonna go to the tip of your hat here and we're just going to stitch this on. Okay, kind of like this. Stitch it right on to the top. Sorry, it's garbage day here and I hear the garbage truck, of course. <laughs> the 20 minutes I'm making a video. Doesn't that always happen? Um, okay, I'm just gonna do one more. I just wanna make sure it's on. Cute, okay. Just kind of weave your end in. And then you're going to take this off. Okay. Now, uh, find your seam. Okay, so I see I have a seam here. And what I like to do to kind of hide that is, let's see, we're gonna 
fold this down. So this is where I'm going to um, fold the top down. I'm gonna st stitch it to itself. The top, we're just gonna stitch right there to the side, kind of hiding that seam um, as best as possible. Uh, so I'm gonna be using this red strand on the inside. All right, I'm just going to, there's a lot of other ends, you're gonna wanna weave these in. So I'm gonna come through here Again, we're gonna fold that down. See that? And then I'm just gonna poke it through. I would recommend weaving in your other ends first, but we're on a little video time crunch here. All right, um, come back through, back through into your hat. And then just pull tight and Weave this in again. See what I mean about the other ends. <laughs> Weave in your other ends first so they don't get all caught up in this, but I'm just going to weave that in as well as we can. Okay. Pull that off. Okay. Weave your other ends in, but you guys get the idea. And here you have an adorable little mini holiday hat, the Santa version, uh, perfect size for an ornament um, for your tree. You could just loop, look, here we go. You could just loop some yarn, tie it, tie it like so. Uh, tree ornament, so cute. Also a perfect little topper for any gifts. Um, also, these are trending right now. These are cute little marshmallow mugs. I got these on Amazon. They come in a four pack. There's other cute designs. Um, I'm gonna give these as teacher gifts. I mean, you would use them for a little hot chocolate or whatever, they're tiny little mugs. And guess what? These hats, I'll show you the candy cane one. They fit over the top of these perfectly. Put a little gift card attached to this or something. I don't know, it's just too cute, right? So lots of uses for these mini hats. You will whip these up in no time, I'm sure. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Pattern is on repeatcrafterme.com.